Welcome back to another episode of the Captain Bagwag Podcast, where we're on a mission to find boring news about Asia and Australia. It's a tough job, but I think Frappy and I, we can do it. Yeah? Frapp Daddy. Frapp Daddy. <laughs> Please no. Think, you said it. I think we could do it. Yeah, we said it first. <laughs> oh, God. And as always, we're recording from downtown Chinatown, and today we're doing something that you want to do. We're not, it's, no, it's the opposite of what I want to do. It's the, actually, it's not that bad. I did sit down. So we're, we're doing movies. Movies, episode, movies. Episode is called... Captain Bag Ride Movie Rats. Movie Rats. With a Z. <laughs> with a Z, um, yeah. But I think I've mentioned several times so far that I don't watch a lot of movies. I don't consume film. Which um, was well, well, quite surprising when you said you wanted to do a movie because I offered books. Yeah. I actually read a few books. But I've been so incredibly busy in the last year that I just I'm haven't so read any books. I'm so busy right now. I know, it's a weird <laughs> flex, but okay. Um, no, I just haven't read any. Like, I'm a, like, I love reading and I have a stack of mm. um like eight books at home like we're at my parents house in the waiting um, list to be read yeah but like now like you know I live in Sydney and I just haven't read anything and I was travelling and I, I don't I've never like subscribed to the whole ebook thing mm. like I love paper books yeah I, I, I can't get used to that Kindle thing I, I need yeah. a physical so book so I never had one so like mm. I had a book in China that I read within the first week when I lived there and then like last year I was just working full time and studying yeah <laughs> so I never and I was doing my thesis so I had like you, you were dealing with a lot of words yeah, already. Yeah, like I was reading like papers yeah. and stuff, and yeah. then it just didn't doesn't make you want to get home and read a book. All the dry form. And that's it. And then yeah, so. That's why movies are good. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I so. I love movies. Yeah, I love movies too, and we're doing movies that we've seen in two thousand and nineteen. And I guess twenty twenty. Or twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Recent, recently. Recently. I think the last year is sort of the. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. What I let's stick with that. Okay. I think you should go first. Okay. Well, Gen I have Smith. actually seen some movies this Ooh. year, which is surprising for me. Um, I saw John Wick 3. I love John Wick. I love Keanu. Keanu Reeves is, is amazing. I think no one can... My future husband. No one can... Your future As husband. As I keep repeating. You have mentioned before. <laughs> um, how's that going for you? Well, you know, he's ignoring me because um, I haven't reached out to him yet. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit of a um, roadblock. Yeah, massive. Uh, uh, okay. But he'll notice me one day. He'll I'm come sure. to Chinatown and just go, <laughs> Madam Chan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in love. Um, <laughs> I'm yeah. going to express my love for you. Well, I hope so. No, that'd be that'd be cool. But, but for now, he's good enough in John Wick. That's, that's right. There's some distance so between us. So, have you seen John Wick three? Yes, I have. Parabellum, is it? I, I'm not sure what the name is. I think it might be called it might Parabellum. Be. I just know it's yeah. John Wick three. It's the one with Halle Berry um, yeah. in it. Yeah, yeah, and dogs. And dogs, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the dogs. Um, yeah, I was very upset. I thought they killed one of the dogs. Oh, spoiler alert! They don't kill one of the dogs. They break its legs. No, they don't. Oh, okay, all right. No, 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 it's fine. I thought they did, but I was like just not paying attention to the It's just the stuff. first movie, spoiler alert. Oh, no, the first oh. movie, but that's like, I, that's not a spoiler. That's like the first two minutes of the movie. I know. I think. It's very, very tragic. That's the whole plot. Kicks off the whole oh, yeah. plot of all yeah. the movies, yeah. <laughs> um, but I've watched, so, you know, I grew up not watching a lot of movies, mm. just never got into it, but um, my best friend, and you know, we would like go clubbing a lot when mm. I was like 21. Like we, we, we became friends and then we started going clubbing, just the two of us. Um... <laughs> And we would always, like, have pre-drinks and just, like, would be, like, what have been? And he's like, let's watch something. So we watched it. He was like, you'll love this. And he's like, I know you hate movies, but you should watch this. And we watched John Wick 1. And he was right. Like, I loved it. You loved it? Good. Um, because, like, I hate, like, movies. There was, like, all these references. and like the, Things you don't get. Like, the yeah. Avengers movies. Like, I never, mm. I've never seen any of those. So I don't... People are talking about the latest ones. And I'm like, I genuinely have no idea what is going on. Who all these characters like, are. I would, have to, yeah. I would have to watch all of that from the start. Yeah, it, it's a long saga. And so that's just into my mind. I'm like, no. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not wasting that time. All right. So and your wingman, who is also your bromance. Introduced romance. me to John, to yeah. John Wick um, 1, and then John Wick 2, which came out briefly after that. I don't think we went to the cinemas or anything like mm. that. Um, I think we just like watched it online. Uh, but, uh... <laughs> Piracy but, uh, or... <laughs> no, not necessarily. <laughs> or um, Netflix. But then, uh, this is a while ago anyway, I think this was 2017 or something. All right. Like and then after that I went to China, and then John Wick 3 came out last year. So we went to see it, big group of people, it was awesome. Great movie. What did you like um, about it? I just liked that it's... Like, sure, there's a story, but it's just so fluid. Like, the, mm. like you watch it, and it's like... The, who I don't know the director's names, because I'm not into movies. But whoever directs it does an amazing job. Like, everything is so fluid mm. and so smooth. And, like, the story actually makes sense. Yes. And, like, little things. Like, um, like I'm a nerd, if you haven't worked that out yet. Like, they really? count in John Wick. They are... <laughs> All right. Um, in, they count, like, the bullets, for example. Like, yeah. when he's shooting. Like, in most movies, I'll just be like, okay, he shoots. 
he shoots like 18 times and it's like, the gun is like it only holds 10 bullets yeah whereas in John Wick like he genuinely like counts it out and then like you see him sometimes in the movies he's like have I got enough bullets he like thinks about it he's like yes and he has like one left but if you watch the movie in slow-mo mm. or whatever you can work out like that's actually the correct amount for that gun. Okay. So it's like, it's, it's actually... So it's actually a, it's a real life situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and County Reeves actually, he uh, qualified for a three gun, which is an Olympic sport. Oh, really? Which is like, you have to shoot, I'm not, I'm not super up, mm. up to date with it. I think you have to shoot like, and then shoot a pistol and a rifle and a shotgun in, in, a, in a row, like it's called three gun. Like mm-hmm. it's, like, um, it's an Olympic shooting event. And he like made Olympic qualifying time when he was practicing for John Wick. Oh my god! Like, he this man's hard. amazing. He really is. Yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, I just really respect that. And the movie is great. Like I think if you watched it, you'll know it's great. It is great. Um, yes. And yeah, that's it. It's just sim- It's just it doesn't pretend to be anything else. There's no annoying like side stories. There's no inaccuracies. Just killing bad people. That's it's just all a it dude, is. And then like some story elements. And then they just gets back to the, the nitty gritty. And and two killer dogs and as well dark. of um. I love the, belly. I love like that dark like gritty <laughs> like neon lights and like. And a man of few words. Yeah, which is very attractive. Say, oh man. Oh. Uh, anyway. The silence and then the <gasps> grunting. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, <gasps> and he's gold coin. There we go. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. And the value of the gold coin. Everything seems to be either one gold okay, coin. that's one weird thing. Like, that, I don't get that. I don't get it either. It's been the topic of like, discussion in yeah, this office. I know people have, like, yeah, talked about that. Like, like <laughs> look, I think it's more of a token than anything. I don't think the coin has any intrinsic value. Yeah. I don't think. Because the th- they, no, they get paid in cash. Like, when there's the scenes in John Wick when they're, like, typing into the hackathon, mm. and they're like, there's a hit out on this person. They do it in like cash. It's a cash amount. That's a reward. Yeah, that's Look, what I with mean. everything else, like you know, if they have to clean up some bodies, then they like, throw like a coin is, or two. Like yeah. the coin isn't that important. Mm. Like the coin isn't actually worth. Mm. Like I guess it's, it is worth something because apparently it's meant to be gold. But I, I get, don't think it's worth like. I don't think you can just equate it because like he buys like a gun for a gold coin, and then also he pays for like a hotel room for a week with a coin. Like there's a bunch of weird like inact. Like, but I don't. <laughs> the value think, of it. I yes. Think I don't think it's about the value. I think, but look, I don't know. I could be wrong. Probably am wrong. Anyway. <laughs> Someone fact check him. <laughs> Anyone on Reddit, can you check yeah, out what the value of the Reddit. gold token coin is? Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure they haven't got an answer. <laughs> well, going from serious gun killing, you know, machines to, I'm going to go to Jumanji the next level. So that's the one with um, The Rock. The Rock. The Rock. The Rock Johnson. I do know that. The Rock. He had also Danny DeVito and Danny Glover. So they're, uh, and uh, Aquafina, so she's in it as well. Who's Aquafina? Oh my god, uh, Crazy Rich Asian, so she's the uh, friend, oh, you haven't seen that either. always a problem here Oh, uh, Aquafina, so she's like an up and coming, she also won an award at the moment for uh, Asian representation okay. in Hollywood, so it's, it's a big thing at the moment, um, and she's done a, a lot of movies, she's got a really husky voice, okay. yeah, so you probably recognise it. Probably, yeah. Yeah, she's sort of like you know, a bit alternative and um, funny, very funny, so that, that's, cool. a, that's a good start. Cool. Anyway, so the original uh, with Robin Williams was made. 1995 and then they hit it off with version 2.0 uh, which was called Welcome to the Jungle is it, so wait this is so set? there's three of them all together really yeah so I haven't actually seen the first one which is the original so one Jumanji, which, which is the old, the old, old game yeah, right? old, yeah yeah so I've seen like parts of it and there's another one about space it's called space or something like that South oh. Z Z. Uh, I, anyway, but a uh, similar concept like board game, they go into the board game. Oh, okay. But um, I've seen like parts of Jumanji, but I've never sat down to watch it. Yeah. I actually sat down to watch it for the first time and it was pretty cool. Okay. The old school version. Okay, cool. Yeah. Anyway, so so this version 2.1, <laughs> so it's one. the second of the of the 2000 series. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, it makes sense now. Um, I didn't really like it as much compared to <laughs> version 2.0, which was the first episode, okay. Welcome to the Jungle, because it got too confusing with too many big names, celebrities, and they were all like trying to fight for time uh, in conversations, and then the storyline, the plot got a little bit, you know, you know, haywired all over the place. Um, but I was impressed by Aquafina's impersonation of Danny DeVito, the way she talks like uh, an angry little man. Cool. <laughs> Does she play, they're just on screen together. Yeah, they're on screen together, okay. and then. I've seen Danny DeVito. Like I know Danny DeVito. Yeah. He plays um he plays the little dwarf character in Hercules. Hercules, oh. Movies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also um he's in uh, Always Sunny. 
Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh yeah, he was great, in that. Great TV show. And Twins were back in the day with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Anyway, okay, another movie. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, um, apart from that, it was great diversity in the castings through Hollywood. So, you know, you've got your Asian representation, you've got your African-Americans, you've got your Danny, Danny DeVito. He's just in a, in a field of his own. <laughs> yeah, it's just, yeah. <laughs> it's just Danny. It's just a category. Yeah, and then you've got, oh, yeah, um, self-continentals as well. So, yeah, quite impressive. Cool. Mm. Nice. Um, yeah, I might, I probably won't see it. Do I have to watch the first two? I think you sort of need to watch the first one because they make jokes and then they have the, the screen that comes up to saying what their powers are, like their strengths and weaknesses, and that's pretty funny. Oh, okay, because like, I have... I, don't, I sort of know what happens. I just haven't seen But you have to watch... I think the first one... Well, version 2.0 okay. was probably a, a pretty good one. Okay, I'll check. Maybe yeah. I'll yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, I've got um, a, another movie that, that came out last year, mm. which was Avengers 4. Ah, okay. yes, Avengers. After, after just saying that I will not watch the Avengers <laughs> movies ever. Peer pressure! Um, I did get peer pressured into it um, because I got f dragged to see Avengers 3 the year before, two mm. years before. But you hadn't watched 2 and 1 no, before. I hadn't, watched, I hadn't even watched... The, the last actual movie that mm. I had seen was Iron Man, which is like one of the first oh, ones. One of the in best. that you know that yes. You know that, like the whole arc though? Like yes. the, the whatever it's called, Avengers arc, I don't know. Um, yeah, the first one I had actually seen was Iron Man. It's such a good movie. I still and, love um, Iron Man. It is still, it's a good movie. Yeah. But that's the only one I had seen. Okay. And so, like, I went to watch Avengers 3 when I was in China. Mm. And it was it was in English, but it had, like, Chinese subtitles. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Like, it was done so well. I was so impressed by I, it. Yeah. I had no idea what was happening. In, in Avengers, Avengers 3. 3. Yeah, okay. whatever it's called. It, yeah, I, I think know. they bring in all the, you have to follow all the different characters. That's what I mean, like, I had no, I, and they just introduce these characters and characters, and I'm just like... This is too much, a mishmash of too many of these And it's so popular in China that, that everyone's, like, cheering along in the cinema, and I'm sort of there, like... <laughs> Silence! I don't know what this is, like, <laughs> I mean, I was, like, you know, I was like, how, what's happening? And they're like, oh yeah, like, this guy does, and I'm like, just don't bother explaining it. It's like, just a uh, bunch of super, super, you know, heroes it, fighting it anyway, out. Anyway, ended up... Uh, binge watching it because mm. I was on a lot of planes mm. the last year um, and uh, yeah every time I was on a plane like I went to Europe I ended up watching all of them yeah like 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 I in sequence yeah I, I started with I didn't watch Iron Man again but I watched like all like I literally there's a website you can go on that tells you like the mm. correct order to watch them like, chronologically so um, which is pretty similar to the order they came yeah. out but some of them are a bit different and um, yeah just watched all of them and then um, when Avengers 4 came out went to see that it was good Who's your favorite character? Um, or superhero? I really like the the space guys. Um, oh yeah, by um, Chris. Yeah, Chris. Not Chris. Not Chris, uh, not Chris. Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was also in um, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, right. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, he, I he really. Was, he's called Star Lord. In, Star, yeah, Star Lord. That's right, Star Lord. So it's coming back to me. I have that. See, he's I into the eighties music as I well. Have, yeah, I love that. Like, yeah. I, I really like it. Starts like the second one starts with like Mr. Blue Sky, like ELO. Um, love that and like they have that album online it's like it's just really really good it like is, I love yeah. 80s music um, yeah really like those specifically those movies and Chris Pratt in them um, and yeah just really like Avengers 4 was it was okay I mean I assume everyone's seen it like that's yeah, like a, yeah that and, was the and end <laughs> that, I, I guess it's weird for me because like I don't watch these like mm. blockbusters so like for me to actually see it is surprising but I think everyone else has like seen it so no one's really excited but I'm like I actually saw it they're like okay that's great. Awesome, it's part man. Of life like, now. Yeah, everyone's seen it. Like, <laughs> I saw it twice. Like, um, but yeah, good movie. I, I I guess see it. But yeah, if you're on a plane or something, it's worth watching all of them. Mm. If not, like if you're in the same, I guess there's very few people in the same position that haven't seen any. But like, yeah, probably not worth it. Cool. Well, I'm gonna take us on a train ride to Busan. Busan. Yeah. Korea. So the uh, director of Parasite. Yeah. Yeah. So this was the movie that he made before he made Parasite, and um, it was just you know swimming the world by storm. I was actually um, swimming in the ocean, and I was singing like you know that Coldplay song, Para Para Paradise. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I and then I start saying Parasite. And I was like, oh wait a second, that's not the words. No, that's not the words. <laughs> no, it's, uh, <laughs> it's very different, actually. Yeah, totally different. Anyway, so back to the train to Busan. Like, I'm not into zombie movies, but people kept on telling me, oh my god, Madam Chen, you should watch Train to Busan, it's so awesome. Yep. And I thought, okay, fine, why not? It's a, it's in a foreign language, but I'll just read the subtitles. And miraculously, I was quite impressed. Great movie. I've actually seen it. Oh my god! It weird what did you think of it? <laughs> I liked it, except yeah. um, I discovered that... Uh, I, watched it, I watched it. I watched it. 
I was my first couple of months in China. Yeah. And I was like, it was winter, and I was sort of like nothing in, to do. At home alone. Yeah. And I was like, and I that's didn't another movie. That, didn't have that many friends. Home and alone. Huh? Saw, yeah. Anyway, go anyway, on. So I messaged, I messaged like my uh, my friends at home who some of whom are really into movies. And mm. I was like, what should I watch? I'm really bored. They were like, watch this, just randomly, like just that, like after the blue. I was like, okay. So I watched it at home alone. Really liked it. Except I found it a little like uh, annoying at first listening to the Korean. Because I haven't really heard people speak Korean. Oh, okay. And like, I was living in China, so I was sort of like trying to learn Chinese. Chinese, and yeah. They don't, I mean, oh, I know Korean and Chinese are obviously very, very mm. different. But I'm, I guess some of the sounds are similar. Mm -hmm. Like the phonetic, yeah. the phonetically, it can be similar. It's not always yeah. similar, but sometimes similar. So like I would hear a sound and be like, oh, that's... And I'd be like, no, and, and like I can't understand this. It's Korean. I don't speak any Korean. So, mm. uh, But apart from that, I really liked it. Yeah, the plot's pretty simple. These people who are not infected by the zombie disease are trying to get to safe haven. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's <laughs> That's been all really it is. good movie. Um, yeah. I actually haven't seen Parasite yet. Um, Neither have I, but I want to see Parasite. But uh, if it's anything, if Frank of Busan's anything to go on, mm. so that must be good. Yeah, I really liked um, the fact that the director was able, well, I, I guess it's the actors as well, acting out the different characters, was the, the different types of desperation or the different types of um, uh, fears that people have and how they would react in a pandemic. Well, yeah. having a, you know, a zombie apocalypse is, is an endemic. It is, yeah. Yeah, it's like a, um, you know, live or die situation. And the business guy, oh my God, he, he was an essential character, which kind of showed, you know, what kind of a person in nature that he really is. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then there's also the the good guys who who continue to fight the good fight and sacrifice themselves, which was you know really sad. But you know there are people out there who are very altruistic. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So that was beautiful. And my best part was watching the zombies trying to open doors. Yeah. <laughs> That's my the, base, the baseball bat, like the baseball team. That's hilarious. I really <laughs> love that. Um, Go watch it. Like that's a great. That's a great movie. Yeah. It's hilarious. I don't know. Does Parasite have the humor? The humor aspect. To I'm it? sure there might be. <laughs> if it, if it's so. the same director. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really, really good. Really, yeah. really funny. It's just. It's just so you Not know that random. Funny. It just is funny. But it is funny <laughs> the way it's done and they're like using their head trying to get in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and and the other one where I think they were going through a tunnel, and then all of a sudden the zombies all stop, like they can't sense anything. Yeah. Yeah. So that's pretty. That was pretty funny as it's well. It's very like I don't want to say accurate because it's like it's zombies, but it's very like zombies I, are real. Uh, no, I mean like it's, <laughs> it's accurate in the sense that I think that it's like I think if it really happened, then that's what it would be like. like mm. It's mostly just stupid people, like acting stupidly, acting like you know, like in that, real life. Which I mean, we've sort of seen in uh, Sydney in the last few days. <laughs> To be oh, with the coronavirus! Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! If they're Chinese, they must have coronavirus. <laughs> oh, in that, in like the whole toilet paper saga that's uh, happened in the last. Week. That's a joke. Uh, anyway. anyway, so um, there's two other zombie movies which I won't go through in detail, which completely surprised me as well because I'm not a zombie horror fan. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So one is uh, from made in Australia called Wormwood: Road of the Dead. So that was a 2014 one. So a bunch of friends went. Come on, Madam Chan, let's just watch the zombie movie. And I'm just like, oh, zombie, I hate zombie movies. Shot in the Outback. So, very Australian. Yeah, of course. All Australian actors, of course. Yeah. Driving. I'd, driving. Hope, I'd hope so. Yeah, <laughs> driving Fords and, you know, Holden four wheel drives and, and trucks and stuff like that. Uh, but the funny part is, they realize that these zombies, when they breathe uh, in their blood, uh, it actually creates like fuel petrol for their cars so so they capture the zombies put them in the cage in the back of their truck stick this entraption or hose essentially into their mouths and then so that fuels the car so we're, we're actually solving um a bit of greenhouse emissions here with zombies with zombies awesome yeah so sign me up yeah so instead of solar power there's a uh, zombie power zombie power okay yeah anyway it's worth it's worth watching i thought it was pretty good cool and another one is um, for those who like a more romanticized version of zombie <laughs> movies, <laughs> which is it, it's like a really quirky version of Twilight. So it's a love story called Warm Bodies um, between a zombie who becomes more human with his interaction with this human love interest. So first of all, he actually ate the brains of this girl's boyfriend. But he, the thing is, he actually relives some of the memories of all the victims that he eats. And so he must have suddenly realized, oh, crap, I just ate her boyfriend. <laughs> and yeah. these are all the wonderful memories that they had, you know, together. So he started feeling guilt and empathy, and then he just becomes even more human by the day. Cool. Hanging out with her. Does he... No, don't roll. No, he doesn't kill her. Okay, cool. 
There you go. Okay. I haven't, uh, <laughs> haven't heard of it, but sounds good. Warm bodies. Sounds warm bodies. <laughs> Interesting. Um, well, my next one is another big blockbuster movie because that's all I watched apparently. All right, life. all right. Uh, it's Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh, yeah. Which is another... Quentin genre, Tarantino. Quentin Tarantino movie. Yeah. The eighth or ninth. Ninth Quentin Tarantino movie. Um, loved it. Really, really I haven't it. seen it. I love Tell every, me. Everything, <laughs> that, everything that that meant. And I know everyone says that. Yeah. Um, but... So you have seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Mexico, yeah? No, I haven't seen that, no. Oh, that's also a Quentin Tarantino movie. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't seen it. I haven't okay. seen all of them yet. Like I've seen, uh, I've seen like Hateful Eight, The Revenant, like yeah. the, the last couple. Um, couple. So and, not like, the old school ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not the really, okay. really old ones. So they actually go to Mexico and they kill vampires. Okay. That's Once Upon a Time in Little cool. in Mexico. So I thought that's what Once Upon a Time in Hollywood's going to be no, about. No, not quite. No. Apparently not. No, they kill hippies. They kill what? Hippies. Instead. Yeah, sort of. Okay. That's it's like all Tarantino movies. I think it's like there's very little. Like direction, or yeah. there is a direction, but it's like it's it's an, it's a very short direction. Yeah. It's like it's not going that far, you know. Um, it, but it's just taking you for that whole journey. I really love I really love all of those movies, like Hateful Eight as well as another one, which is Hateful Eight, it's yeah. a bunch of people sitting in a room for the whole movie. Like that's all <laughs> it is. It's like, <laughs> but it's really really good. Like it makes you want to watch it, and it's like just it's basically human interaction. Like that's what the whole movie is, and that's what Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is um, as well. Yeah. yeah. All right, so the really good looking guy was Antonio Mandaras. Okay, thank you for... Yeah, uh, cool, just... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, but I mean, everyone else, good, good. And Selma Hayek. Okay. She was a beautiful vampress. <laughs> cool. I'll, <laughs> I'll check it out. Um, but yeah, really, really liked it. Went along with my friends because they, they dragged me. And um, I really, really enjoyed it. Seems like your friends and my friends influence our uh, movie watching Yeah, because I don't, I'm not going to go and watch a movie by myself. Like, I don't get home and I'm like, I'll watch a movie. Like I've never, I've never once done that, and I think this is why I haven't seen a lot of movies. Yeah. Like this, because I never got into the swing of watching movies by myself. Yeah. So then people are like, "Oh, you have to have seen insert X movie here," and I'm like, "No," they're like, "You haven't seen like what someone got me the other day for Mean Girls. Haven't seen it. I haven't seen it seen either. It. Good because it, like apparently that was like a travesty, like me not having seen that movie. Like, <laughs> like, like it was it was a guy and he got so upset. He was like, he, he's like, I like I will. I'll buy you a DVD. I was like, I don't have a DVD player, man. Like, <laughs> he's like torrented. I'm like, I'm not, like, I'm not gonna watch it. Like, I'm not gonna sit at home. And I'm not, I'm not criticizing people who do. Mm. And I know, I know it's very popular. Like, um, I watch a lot of movies at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, Netflix, nothing wrong with it. I just, Dan. I never got into like the swing of like in like high school. I was like into computers. Yeah. So I was always like on Gaming a laptop. And stuff, yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm. And so I never, I never just got used to watching movies. And I, I never really had movies that I loved so much that I was like into movies. Are you sure? Because I think you love Mulan, right? I do love. Yeah, but All the Disney movies. But Disney movies was like before. Like I would, like I've seen every Disney movie up until. I don't, I don't know what the, the uh. last movie one that I saw was, but like I've seen them all up to, I think the one the one about the girl with the hair, like the Rapunzel one. Oh, I, yeah, I never yeah, saw yeah. that. So anything past there, like I never saw Frozen, stuff like that. But like before then, of course, like when I was a kid, I watched Mulan. Mm. Like I watched her. Like, Aladdin, I've, I've, I've Little mentioned Mermaid, Hercules, so Hercules many times on this, definitely. On this podcast. Um, yeah, like I have what, like so I've seen a lot of Disney movies, but then there's this big gap, mm. like it stops there. And then, like, I didn't watch anything. And then I watched some, like, rom-coms with my first girlfriend. Mm. Like, that she, you know, we watched the romantic stuff together. Mm-hmm. But it was, like, uh, whatever, the, the notebook, stuff like that. Aww, like, a few movies. So I've seen, like, a few of those. Right, but then, like, like, everything else, like, no. Like, like, like the Avengers thing, just skip that yeah. completely. Well, you can look forward to the uh, action-packed Mulan coming out on the 27th of March in Australia. The only problem is there's no <laughs> singing. There's background music. I don't <laughs> care. Like I, you're so upset. The best part of the, I shouldn't have brought this the up. The best part you shouldn't. Have. Um, <laughs> if you know this, like the best part of Milan is like, let's get down to business. Like Do that's know? that song is the best. That's one of the best Disney songs. And um, the song that's sung by Milan herself, "Who Am I?" Like, but all, all, all of them. That whole that whole. Know film has some of the best songs yeah that and hercules I, I saw the shorts the trailer to it and i'm a big fan of the beautiful oh. luscious hair being thrown around yeah, all over is, the place she's gorgeous yeah and gong lee gong lee as yeah. well yeah. yeah so they've got all the lees in the house oh look i'm not complaining i'm yeah. still, i'm definitely going to see it yeah um, i'd love to see it are they doing it like in chinese like a release in 
Are you sure they must Maybe. be? Maybe they must, For they sure must they be. Must yeah, be. yeah, yeah. If they if they do a Chinese release, I'd love to go see that, especially. I yeah, they really, will. Really cool. I mean, th- I mean, you got all the, you got Gong Li, you got Jet Li, you got Jason Scott Li, and yeah, I think it's gonna be yeah, awesome. Yeah, it's gonna I'm, be. I'm really excited. Whole um, bunch of Lees. Do you like the original in Milan? I loved it. You loved it. But I like the Chinese version better. I haven't seen the Chinese version. Actually. The Chinese version? No, I think you have. I watched like some of it. Okay, but not the entire the thing. thing. I, I um I, I loved it. That that was pretty good. It was like action packed. There was like no comedy in it. It's dry drama, but oh. effective. Okay. If, but effective. you know, it pulls all the emotional strings, which which um I was quite surprised they by. They took Mushu out. Yeah, they took they, Mushu out as come well. Come on, like that's the best. Part Replaced of with it. a phoenix that's instead. The, yeah. Well, I, and I look, I understand like why they did it, but like still. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so there won't be you know uh, Leah Salonga, so she was the voice behind all the all the beautiful songs. Yeah. Yeah, in Aladdin as Princess Jasmine as well as Mulan. Um, she was actually in Australia a few months ago. Really? One of our mates over there is friends with her, so they had dinner together. Really? I know. That's I know. So. That's so yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's I was cool. just like Leah. She's the most beautiful voice. She does, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, there's another movie that's coming out. I don't know if you're looking forward to it. It's, a it's called No Time to Die. James Bond. Yes, yeah. 25th movie from the franchise. I do like James Bond movies. Mm. I haven't seen many of them. Mm. I've seen like the the Daniel Craig. Is that yeah, Daniel Craig. Craig. So it's his. Daniel Craig is like yeah. the the last couple, right? Last uh, four last or five. Three or four. Yeah. Yeah, three or four. Yeah. So I've seen like I like those. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's him again. But they're all the same movie. But he just plays the character so well. He's he so does. brute. He's very cool. Yeah, but I, I, I yeah. like those movies. Yeah, but this time he has a, a female partner in crime, well, espionage, whatever, whatever you want to call it, yeah. and she is not intoxicated by his charm or any of that hanky panky stuff in the bedroom. The normal, normal James Bond fair. Yeah, like a normal James Bond girl I know would there was be. A lot of people been knew about that online. Yeah, yeah. he's such a womanizer in there. Why would every girl fall for him? He's not every girl's type. Yeah, and I mean that's, I sort of understand. Mm. Like I sort of get like the people that are like complaining about it, but um, at a certain point, like it's been like that for a long time. Mm. But that doesn't mean that it should stay that way. But if like if that's the genre, then that's the genre. Yeah. Like I think there there are genuinely men like that out there. <laughs> like, um, you know, so I don't think it's inaccurate. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's just, yeah. So. Yeah. So the, the, the different uh, aspect of this is that Daniel Craig plays Bond, James Bond, yep. but then the female, she, she's taking over. She something. takes his code, 007. Yeah, 007. Yeah. See, I think that's, look, probably actually that's a, a, a good step. Mm. Um, like I'm not upset at that at all. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what it's going to be like, be, actually. Actually. Well, that's yeah. similar to, um. Lashana uh, Leach, I think that's her name. So she was the fighter pilot from Captain Marvel. Okay. Mm. Well, I have, yeah. Um, I don't. I don't know her name. Yeah, and also another character, well, another actor that of a movie that you have watched okay. is going to be in it as well. Uh, Rami Malek, who played Freddie Mercury in Bohemian ah, Rhapsody. Ah, cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's the name. Okay, yeah. So awesome. he's, he plays the bad guy. Cool. <laughs> good. I, I think he'd be a good bad guy. Yeah. 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 He has a bit of scarring on the yeah, face. Yeah, he has a, yeah. like, yeah, like, he, he could be... Because I recently watched, um, with my parents, my parents are really into Doctor Who. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, it was a TV show, but, mm. uh, the, the latest Doctor, the Doctor changes, if people haven't watched Doctor Who before. Yeah. Like, it's part of the storyline that the Doctor regenerates. That's, like, how they got around, like, having different actors for the same position. Different generations. Just um, like Bond? Yeah, 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 sort of like Bond, exactly, mm. right? Like, it's, like, it's, it's just a code name, and it... To just because there's new people doesn't mean it's like it's still the same yeah. universe. It's just yeah, so same thing in Doctor Who, right? Mm. But it's a girl now, which is fine. Like doesn't I don't a girl? Think, wow. Yeah, the, the Doctor is a girl. Yeah, which like a million nerds on the internet just lost their shit over. <laughs> <laughs> but did they actually pick up some other fans who are you probably know? yeah. yeah I, I, it's, a, it's a it's a choice, right? Like mm. it's not like they did it on accident. Um, yeah. And I don't think it's. I, look, I don't know enough. I don't really watch it, but. Um, yeah, just my parents. Are. Yeah, well, if you're into Bond, James Bond, I'll which be. could be the last, you know, a Daniel Craig version. I think it is a lot. That, they've yeah. confirmed that, isn't it? Like, that, that's the last that Daniel Craig. That could be his Craig. last, yeah. He, it's coming out on the 8th of April in Australia. Cool. But obviously earlier in London. When does this, yeah, okay. Mm. Yep. In the rest of the world. <laughs> Probably, yeah, we always get stuff last. Yeah, so that's what's happening in the silver screen. Awesome. These days. I'm kidding. I'm actually, I'm not even joking, excited for... 
James Bond, Bond and for Milan. Probably and more Mulan. for Milan. Yeah, Milan is going to be a, a risky one. We need to, I, we I need just to, don't know if it's going to be like nah, good it'll or be, bad. It'll be good. Have, yeah. some, have some faith. Have some faith, I guess. I, and actually, also, I actually haven't seen any of the live action Disney's yeah. so far. Um, they haven't been that great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah. Not as good as the original. Um, Look, the storyline no is the same, so but, but somehow the plot or the pace of it, it's just a little bit out doesn't quite sink as right. well um so i watched lion king live and that was you know it was still beautiful but it took too long and then some it of the, took, too, it yeah. took too long and just some of the conversations and things like that just didn't go quite uh it didn't gel as well yeah yeah and then uh, and the beauty and the beast so that's with um that was a while ago that it came out right yeah yeah, yeah with hermione what, 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 i've got emma emma watson that's her real name yeah and that whoops hermione her name is hermione <laughs> I mean, that was good, but it wasn't epic uh, okay. compared to the original animated version. That's fair. Yeah. But the good thing is, um, the new star for Mulan, so she is American Chinese, yep. um, you know, instead of making it on the big silver screen, I'm going to call it the big gold screen. It's like a merge of shimmery silver and yellow. I like it. Yeah. Gold screen. Gold screen. What do they call the Chinese film industry? Do they have a? Do they have like a? They have similar? a pretty big film industry. No, no, I know they China. do. I mean, yeah. is it an equivalent to the silver screen word. They probably do. Probably. Middle Kingdom. It'll probably be like screen. dragons or something. <laughs> there's a dragon on the on the film sensor. Like, yeah. Yeah. That yeah. could be it. Cool. Excellent. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's it for me. That's it for me. I only saw three movies. <laughs> <laughs> In 2019. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. So when you see another three movies, we'll do this again. Yeah, we'll call maybe part like two. Eight years. Yeah, when I've seen some more. No, no, well, there'll be at least two. <laughs> two more. Run. All right, excellent. So this okay, is great I'll because... i another random movie. <laughs> movie. Like movie. Random movie on the internet. Yeah, this is great because this is the feeling, the boy that I used to have watching Margaret and David from at the movies. Yeah. Yeah. I never really watched it. So we can be like... Madam Margaret and David Frapp or something like that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right, thanks, Liam. Thanks. <laughs> Bag right out. Hey, thanks for listening to this week's podcast. For the latest updates and posts, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. If you love it as much as Captain Bagrat and I do, uh, please support us on Patreon, where we hope that our dream of having our own TV show will become a reality one day. So then we can continue to fight boring news on everything, anything, and nothing with an Asian twist. Thanks for your support. Bagrat out. Solid. <laughs>